Good morning everyone. Welcome, welcome to a Sunday stitching, weekend stitches. And we are going to do, I guess, backstitch. Uh, some of you requested to do backstitch on camera because many of you still not comfortable to do that. And I did humongous progress in here. Ta-da! Eight stitches so far. That's it. <laughs> Eight stitches and while I were working uh, on a full stitch I created two of the French knots for the eyes in here. That's it. But before we start I will remind you one more time that I did mention in one of my videos that backstitch on this picture created not correct. So you have to be careful. Because for example in here if we can zoom a little bit close you can see that blue line on the top of yellow and this is not possible because blue line it's an outlining of the head and the spider web obviously spider making it on the top of the clothes so it's not going to be under the head it's going to be on the top because blue lines it's not like some accessories or anything no this is just a um, definition of the head wrinkles and all that stuff right so you have to make sure to stitch blue outlining first and the spider go later on the top of this and in here in this sample did not put correctly same thing in here uh, there's some kind of branches kind of like a tree whatever there is background in here uh, do this first and then web on the top because unless that's a far corner hold on let me find a picture um yeah puppy trying to sleep but they are still kind of wrestling i just feed them um in here in here yeah so on this picture we can see that spider web on the back of the corner and this is kind of like a branches and broom on the top of it uh, on the top of the web in here yeah so in here maybe hold on let, let me put my glasses so i can see correctly i saw somewhere else look at my glasses with bling bling hey eh? i love them <laughs> not comfortable to wear at all it's bothering me on my nose having my nose keep scratching my nose kind of like an itchy because it's not comfortable for me so what I see okay so the web in here it's a corner of the house so it have to be on a very very back and all the black lines need to be on the top of this web so what we have in here on the top of the web okay so here is correct actually but if we look in here on this picture even in here the web is under this line so that's not correct whatever who did this didn't do right same is here for the necklace necklace of the cat necklace of the cat I have to we have a same kind of lines and whiskers whiskers cannot go under the chain because the face cat face sticking out so the chain would be next to his body and whiskers way far away from his neck so the whiskers you have to stitch on the top of this blue lines not under like it's showing in here so there's a few things in here for you to watch out to make sure stitch correctly not like you see on a picture you just have to kind of study your stuff so now we are going to create that necklace first and that's the Hold on. Pumpkin. Pumpkin, pumpkin. So I'm going to put this kind of like a front of me right by my tripod. It's a rainy day, yucky day, so perfect for stitching. But I'm not sure how much I can talk to you. It's not going to be too much of the chit chatting because backstitch it's the most difficult thing to stitch and tuck because i need to concentrate those lines need really really pay attention what i'm doing in here like right now it's easy i have to outline square and uh, now we will 
will create his pumpkin's mouth so some details would be easy to create and some of this will be difficult I was looking this backstitch in here I have to say it's not very easy backstitch on this design uh, especially on a dark um, on a dark splashes like on a dark uh, kind of hard to figure out where the stitch will go so I will pick with you the most easier way what we can stitch together and then after that I have to stitch by myself to make sure I'm doing correct oh and I did mistake already okay I didn't do right because I'm talking see that's what I'm saying I have to pay attention see like I created straight and I need to create kind of like this so I will take it down where is my threader I will retread it's okay not big deal okay Daisy moving on she don't like to stay here when I record my puppy boy is still here not sure if he's gonna move away or not okay so we have to create this on the angle in here I have to say that this cat so far as I'm looking probably the most difficult backstitch will be that I done so far there now we have a smiling pumpkin and now I will outline his head so this is kind of easy part you just go following around oh this needle sharp I need my I need my helper not to poke my finger because I have to push a needle make sure to shop for the Black Friday um, many stores have like a three day sell um, I just received email from Newcraft Day their sales from 11 November to 30th so it's to the end of the month yeah so pay attention where sales still going <coughs> excuse me last night well today was today November 17th I think it's Friday today so last night on Thursday I was stitching um, European town uh, okay I miss one square so I will go back I should make a longer line and now go on an angle so I was teaching European town trying to f finish that symbol that was too much you know uh, what was a 56 I think number this purple triangle still have lots of left okay so let's see where I'm gonna go now from this corner I have his fur one two one two okay so we will make a line for his fur yeah I guess I wanna jump to his um, necklace, but for now, hold on. Let's go next to it, 
and next to it and then from here we call this one line go longer what I'm trying to do I will show you okay I just stitched this line now I'm go this one so I stitch this in here now this one I will stitch in here and I think I will jump to the necklace I want to stitch the chain that's what I'm going for because after I finish his chain I can start to outline his face kind of get to it okay so now I have to pay attention one two across one two across over here or not no it's not no it's not one and forward yeah a lots of uh, you have to look so now because it's a dark area in here see like it's dark I have to figure out where I have to stop where I have to go to the chain so most likely I will jump to beginner in here because it's it's hard to see on a canvas like in here where I have to make that stitch right so I will go to the pumpkin and start from pumpkin one square over from the corner there and now I'll just double check if I'm in the right place yes one across diagonally two straight Too straight. No. Oh, it's so difficult. Hold on. Now from this to straight, I will create chain. Go this way across, because we will make a sequence of the chain. I need to lay down. I need to put this lay down next to me somewhere so I can put scissors on the spot where I work because I keep kind of losing where I am. Hold on my friends, it's not very easy <laughs> job to do but you will like it on the end, I promise you. When you stitch you will like how it looks. Not very comfy though. Okay, so now I did a cross, a cross one. Now down. And we just created with you first chain loop, see? now which way i want to go i don't know i was gonna go to my left but now i kind of more comfortable to create this by going up oh we have to create like a box in here okay so what are you guys teaching today just un undid my line okay never mind <coughs> on Fridays we have a garbage day so you will hear lots of trucks running through
to the side so now it's kind of going to be easy it's two two and two hold on I cannot see far away to put the front on me just a minute maybe I can pin it with my scissors so it doesn't go over um okay got it so two now two up two sideway one across oh, puppy dreaming two across and two up no that's a one or two one See, because the threads in here are dark colors. Uh, where I go, where I go. Hold on. I'm gonna go from here to create where one. Just one. Okay, one. across I just have to learn this pattern two across in here now from this two across up to kind of crisscross each other line and I will create another chain so now one across again okay see now I learned the pattern so it's getting easier one in here and puppy chewing something one in here and now two crisscross of each other looks difficult at first to you kind of figure out how it's work okay what we do next how many chains we have in here let's count let's count one two three four and I have one two three so we're going to create our fourth to move my canvas a little bit more down from the table just a minute okay this line across this line one across and then our last chain go not two crisscross but just the one because we are under the face of our cat so I will go now creating his chin because I'm making a stitch this way then I have to go back again right so here I am and now we are going to do that's where I stitch here I exit in here we created this chain now I will go outline get in here and come back to create this chain all right lots of work lots of work okay so one two three I need to make it three one two three so this was one two three it's only two right now two 
and then two across I think in here Maybe not, just a minute, let me check, it's kinda, oops, I created too sharp line, looks like I didn't do right, so one, two, three, um, see like in here, this would be, I'm okay, let's start from corner here, one, two straight, and then not across top, but across in here, oh, three, across of three, Okay, I see where I did mistake. Instead of in here, I should exit in here. So I have to pull this. That's the glory of the back stitch. Many time I make a mistake, but it's uh, you know if you don't want to break apart, nobody will know you make mistake if you don't tell nobody. Okay, so I need to do one two like I did one two one two and then across across across. Right in here. Yeah. I think now it's correct. <laughs> oh my goodness, let me check. Side of the pumpkin, I have to exit. Side of the pumpkin. No, over one. Sometimes this is how I look. Um, let's see, for example, oh, it's light, lots of light. Okay, if I don't know where exactly go, I will show with my fingers because my I'm holding a little bit. Side of the pumpkin, I just go straight line and see that this I need to go one over to get the corner up there. So I was trying to exit again on the wrong. I have I have to go one over there. So now will be correct line. It's more around now. We round up face. Okay, over to the dark line, I think right in here, to the first across, yes, to, to here, sometimes it's easy to line up thread to guide you, okay, from here I have kind of like a double line, so I go one corner back interesting back stitch in here not as easier as I mentioned and go one two to the dark side one two right there from step I think from here go down and I'm about to meet up with the chain in here let me check where I am not sure how much we can stitch my puppy wake up all right so I found my point to another chain start so we're going to learn now this way chain so two down oops 
One, two, two there, one. Two down this way, one crisscross. I don't really like stitch back stitch on camera because I can't talk to you. <laughs> I have to really like pay attention what I'm doing. Crisscross. Now two down. Is it or not? One, two. No, it's not. It's one down. Then figure out yet this side of the chain to create. a little bit different from the other side I guess for me to get this pattern yet started I think I did correct. Now I messed up myself. One, two, one, two. Okay, I was doing a right and then I messed up myself. Okay, I go back. hard to stitch with black thread on the dark places because it's kind of hard to see where you already created and where is not. Okay, so now I think I need to create like two over two lines. Let me just double check. One, two, three. Yeah, okay, so now like we did before, hopefully we will end up on a correct, correct place. was a beginning a little bit complicated and now feels all right Puppy. Okay, so <coughs> I don't think we will be able to stitch much longer right now. They didn't sleep much unless my tuck can wake them up because I give them that's our, our breakfast time. I give them food and they usually sleep longer. Not today. Okay, at least we have to create this last part of the chain and see if we're going to match up <laughs> if it did correct with you. I think we did.
and we meet up with our points. So my calculation to start from the top of there was correct. I didn't make a mistake. And this is our last part in here to connect chain to where balloon. There. See, now we have a chain. All right. So my already camera flash and and <laughs> uh, maybe later on we will stitch a little bit back stitch on pumpkins. But my puppy now go wild, so I have to kind of stop and. Look at the already outline and face, look already better. So in here on a pumpkin, if I can turn the little mouth a little bit, I think uh, we'll stitch a little bit more pumpkin. That would be more simple way to stitch. And I will dig the most like a difficult part on a darker area somewhere. So it's not my lamp. Puppy, nutty puppy. They are so cute. Yeah, they saying hello. All right. Oh, that's a very loud hello. I will be right back. I want to apologize right now because my puppy don't cooperate as well. Everybody was sleeping. Two of them was wrestling and making noises. And now they're trying to wake up everybody. And I really want to show you something else. As you can tell, I am not going to stitch pumpkin with you instead of pumpkin. I started to stitch on the books on the bottom and I thought this is, would be a great tutorial for beginners how to create this perfect straight lines that we have. I did the tutorial on my uh, farm cross stitch from Fancel of the red truck and the uh, golden retriever puppies up there. If you remember I did tutorial on that canvas in two different ways. So one of the uh, kind of similar layering I call, I did, I believe I did the tutorial with the two needles. But today I want to show you how you can do in one needle. And that's what I was doing in here. Lots of lines. I spent actually lots of time in here. In here I was stitching regular backstitch. But then I uh, went to this top book. I decided that it's easier way and faster to do layering instead of counting. Because, you know, some um, stitch can go through the center like perfectly from the corner to the corner of the stitch. Some like go like a one fourth of the stitch so it's not always comfortable to create that um, stitching by just go back and forth back and forth so layering example in here will be the best and I want to show you as close as possible let me readjust a little bit higher okay this would be good so we are going to the side of the book and here is what I do that's the part that I will stitch from this corner. I think it's from this corner or from this one. To this ribbon uh, marking inside of the books. Okay, this lines in here. Here is how I do. And hopefully this angle and how far it is will be visible for you. So I'm looking on my pattern of the template where I go. I kind of layer my thread. See? supposed to go between these two red ones so I look in here look again my paper sounds good and I will make my stitch right in here and I have this beautiful outline and of the book now I'm looking in here where I go exactly on a hole because some threads will follow like in the middle of the thread, some like a little bit mm, slightly, not in a corner. So I'm finding a corner where is exactly that tiny corner. I go in here back from one side of the thread and then I go over my back stitch and I go into the same hole but just over my thread. Okay, it's not comfortable for me to do this. Hey, puppy, don't. Okay, like that. Okay, so I'm kind of 
came out from this side of the thread and go on another side but in the same hole where this one coming out and I pull my thread without forcing it too much under my canvas so I don't make like dent too much this now this little tiny dot you cannot see it but it will be secure in your thread now from here maybe like one centimeter over just look where is this uh, like go straight into the hole and to me visually looks like it's right in here again I'm coming out now from doesn't matter from which side you're coming out first for me came out from this side so now I'm go over top and go back into the same hole and I will pin this thread so it doesn't get like hanging threads later you know you need to secure them and that's how I do all my perfect straight lines okay I think from here well I can do one more let's do one more somewhere in here can you hear a puppy playing oh my god they go wild I just wanted to show you this moment so now we created our first where is it where is it where is it okay we created this first line now I will start again from my next line and go back in here again so let me look uh, one up okay so I'm going to go here there and again I'm looking my paper it go one up which will be like this and perfect line see how like it's nice and even so now I'm just find my pin where I go it's right in here and I stitch and now I do the same thing go back and time by time whatever I think it's better just going to pin the line back into my canvas if you leave this long thread like this after you wash you will probably will get like sinking and you don't want to have that so this method you must if you want to do with two needle it's mean one needle layering and another one just keep stitching over so you don't have to go with one needle all the time over over under or in and out you just layer and layer and and the other thread with needle go and pin it and that's the I think it's a great tutorial for beginners if you just start to do a back stitch and you have a lots of straight line um, they're mostly popular if you stitch in something with the buildings you will have lots of straight lines now let's see um, one two okay we're gonna create our third line and that line will go over dark like that right in here and go back and do it again so you see how nice and even so our books will be perfectly outlined you know with the pumpkin it would be easy because it's a uh, wiggle here wiggle there it, it doesn't matter if you make a little bit mistake nobody will care because basically you're trying to outline pumpkins with the books it's a uh, straight pages that kind of it's nice when when it's straight it should be straight uh, sometimes it's if page kind of bend it or book open that uh, page is not going to be straight they will be wiggle so that one you just do back and forth back regular back stitch but this one this is a great way to do back stitch this way so now I think we have enough of the back stitch with you um, well depends on my puppy ah see they fighting up there <laughs> they are fighting okay 
okay so now I have in here my next line kind of broken line uh, it's not exactly from my corner but kind of like a halfway you know it's not go all the way to the ribbon so now I need to figure out where to finish but I can do the same thing or just back and forth stitching or layer and just spin in two spots that's how you do layering and you will have this beautiful perfect line see how how nice they look right do you agree with me okay and it's much faster this way you don't have to count as much just by you know by layering to create this straight like book outline and would be in here lines lots of lines you know in here go so that's what I will do for the book purpose and whatever else have like straight straight lines um, and maybe now in a second part of the video I don't know how long this will be uh, we will stitch some different canvas maybe like full stitch something some some different canvas and I will be working on this alone so here is what I done so far I finish books and I started to outline a little bit of kitty um, uh, food I created his tail so far and that's it so oh, let me just maybe bring it this way kind of close you can see those pages looks good now and now just so we can get some stitching I decided to work with you a little bit more on this design so so far what I stitch in here as you can see this part is finished I stitch well let me zoom close what I did I put some okay it's my clamp oh, hold on so I did some beads sparkle beads because they were kind of like you know laying maybe flowers petal on the grass I don't know all this green it's a half stitch background okay um, I stitched this leaf but maybe I will outline with the beads I don't know but when I started to do flower um, flower the, 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 the beads the sunflowers beads was a little bit too big so it doesn't fit correctly uh, so I just like keep stitching a house for now and I just wake up probably with my tucking so I don't know how much we're going to stitch yet in piece so I stitch already a window house oops um, I parked some threads already started working on the roof so right now I thought we can stitch a little bit uh, this pink if I finish this pink it's mean my house to the roof will be done oh no there's one oh one two there's two more uh, symbols in here okay anyway most of that will be done uh, so yeah maybe even tonight I will stitch a little bit more for now it is Saturday as usually I'm finishing late because I've been working all day long on something else also I moved some stuff from one room to another so I'm reorganizing stuff again so, so, you know lots of work with my puppies so there's not much recording I can do now these days but this video I hope you will like my tutorials that we did not too often I do stitching on camera of backstitch because it's not always comfortable and very often I keep messing up if I talk and record um, oh yeah there's another symbol in here and that jug kind of right now looks like same as a fence so as soon as it's done backstitch that will be so much better to see I have to move a little bit more okay like this hopefully this part will be okay for you to see like this a little bit more of the full stitch 
The more I stitch this design, the more I like it. It's kind of very simple design, very simple. By the way, today you will have another video, surprise video. Uh, yeah, second video. I already scheduled for the 7 o'clock. So this video goes 6 o'clock usually and the other one will start at 7 in the morning, my time. My husband volunteer in that video to help me so you can see what's about. What we did today um, will happen. So yes today uh, my husband and I we went for dinner I didn't leave house for a long time since you know puppy uh, a little I make sure I stay home all the time so this time I was like okay I need some break a little bit so Catherine can you watch it so we can go uh, for dinner and at the same time go to Costco buy a few things you know shopping thing so she was watching them and of course they went wild and while she didn't watch them very strongly okay daisy stop um the puppy ripped uh, all the tarp inside in my uh, cage where they sit in like like how from the walls they were only like a stapled and tap i've tried to keep a cover with those white sheets and old towels so when they pull the sheets down they can access to the tarp and just keep jumping on it so when they were little it was fine but now they are chubby and heavy and they start to rip the tarp down staples start to coming out so what we did today we restaple it even some to the bottom of this cage to the wood so it took uh, you know afternoon good afternoon to put them uh, the box together so in the meantime you can do this with them inside of the cage so my husband brought uh, like a metal cage um, that used to be for body and daisy so we put them all inside and they were go crazy in the kitchen right because never been in a cage yet so they were trying to chew and get out of there <laughs> while we cleaning so I give them some hard bits of uh, puppy food I'm still making a mush for them but now little by little I I put uh, like sprinkle around on the floor and they just keep picking a uh, hard food like those bits so while they were munching they were okay oh, by the way um, on Saturday which is yesterday for you uh, I posted new video on Poppy's channel if you want to watch just like I put some background music a little bit they just kind of like a plain video of basically probably for the week little by little clips I put together and they are cute so that video if you want to watch well I did uh, I think post it oh no oh sorry alarm uh, my husband said alarm okay so it's going to be loud in here if he coming out so what I did I brought shelvin one of the shelvin from IKEA from downstairs that was in my craft my brought upstairs so now I have a two upstairs so obviously I'm revamping everything changing the stuff around <laughs> So I just did that while puppy were still sleeping because when they up I kind of need to be here otherwise they will tear apart the cage so plus I have to keep an eye on them so they don't mess and don't step in if you know what I mean so I'm trying to clean up as they go so <laughs> that that's my life um, at least for another two weeks till two puppy for sure go home I think we have one more 
There's some other people colors uh, trying to decide to get rid of his family. We send them picture because they are kind of far away from us. Uh, from Barry, if you're Canadians, you know where it is. So we send them picture because they used to have a golden retrievers as well. And now they're looking for a new puppy. Um, yeah, so that's what we did um, and then I have to go downstairs still do the same thing brought some empty boxes will be organized and making a shelving all right um, it's going to be loud here now I will probably let me just upload my video as it is it should be good link enough happy Sunday stitching and don't forget to watch my other video as well don't forget to subscribe if you are new on my channel. Give me thumbs up if you like video. And I will see you tomorrow Monday.